Hi, my name's Paul. I'm a scientist at Nelson Civic Council. We're here as part of the first Dreamcare monitoring group with Nelson Nature. And my part of it is to basically show the community, the kids here, what fish are living in the stream. It's actually been led by the community who are wanting to improve the stream in terms of the habitat and learn more about the stream itself. In the last 10 minutes, we've found at least 13 or 14 longfin and shortfin eels and a redfin bully. In terms of this lower part of the stream, it's really important to maintain it because fish move up and down stream as part of the life cycle. The group here is wanting to grow and get more of the community involved and work with the council to make this stream a much better place for wildlife. So we have to look at issues like if there's fish passage barriers in streams and also just things like the actual flow in streams and rivers that can have an effect on what habitats are available. So in terms of fish monitoring, there's two techniques. The first is electrofishing gear, which essentially stuns fish. And we use the flow of the stream and river to flush or wash the fish into the nets that we have. And then we can take the fish out, measure them and work out what species they are. The other method that we use is spotlighting at night time when fish are more active. So we actually go with large spotlights and that's less intrusive because we can do that from the bank and then basically look at what fish are present. We use both combinations to get a bigger picture of what fish are present. The goal really is obviously to try and increase the fish biodiversity in our streams and rivers. One of the reasons for being along today is to really show the local group here in Orphanage what fish species we have here, what habitats are good for the fish to use and how we can improve those habitats. So long term we'll be looking at basically doing some planting along the riparian edge, the edges of the streams and rivers and potentially even trying to improve the habitat within the stream and over time we'll, we'll hopefully see improvements in what fish and invertebrate the animals that fish feed on within this catchment. The stream care groups are all about the community. The council is here to assist the community to achieve their goals. Please get involved.